I bought Band in a Box when it came out in 1990, and at that time there were very few styles and they were mostly MIDI. But later on, in 2007, they added something called Real Tracks, which was recordings of real musicians. And that really took the software up a notch. When I bought Band in a Box, I paid about 60 bucks, that's what I remember. And then after that, I paid $100 or so to every few years to update it. But if you bought it today, you'd really have to come up with a lot. It's pretty expensive. This is the home page of Band in a Box. The company that makes it is called PG Music. Uh, PG for Peter Gannon, who's the guy who created it. So let's look at the prices. I'm going to click Windows Packages and these are the options um, for first time purchase at the top. The Pro is 129, the Mega Pack is 269, but the problem with these is that they don't have any of those real tracks that I was telling you about. They, they have something called real combos or something, but it's probably similar, but if you want the real tracks like you saw me using in, um, in my video, then this is your minimum purchase. You have to um, pay this $4.69 and for that, for that you get 2,900 plus um, real tracks, you know, which is quite a lot. And um, in terms of the other plans, there is an Ultra Pack which has, as far as I can tell, it's exactly the same. It just has songs and lessons, and that's $100 more. And then there's something called the Audiophile Edition, and um, that's a, another um, $200 more from the Ultra Pack. And all you get from that is instead of compressed audio, you get uncompressed audio WAV files. Band in a Box in the 2020 edition, the current one, is um, 120 gigabytes download. So if you went and got the audiophile edition, that's an additional uh, 100 gigabytes. So that's 220 gigabytes you would have to have available. So even though there are 2,900 real tracks, there are actually 3,100 hours of recording. And you can see that just in the most recent upgrade in Band in a Box, uh, it's 220 hours. So they really try and give you your money's worth. Now, this is a lot of dough, I know, but and I wish I could tell you that this is it, but there actually is even more to the story. They have something that's called Extra Styles Packs. And so the styles are all combinations of the real tracks that, uh, you know, they're mixed and they fully worked. And that's all those things that you were seeing. Some of them may have come from versions of Band in a Box, but a lot of them are probably out of these extra styles packs. I, I have them all and they sell for like about $50 each. The one through nine is $349. Um, they're often discounts when the newest version of Band in a Box comes out, which is the end of the year for PC and I think it's spring or early summer for the Mac. Another thing I can say is that when a new version is released, there's another 49 styles that come out with that version and you can only get it if you happen to get that year's versions. It's a little bonus that they're putting in because they want you to upgrade every year. It's a lot of money, no matter how you look at it, but I've shown you what it does. And if you think it could be useful um, for your songwriting, then maybe it's worth it.